What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Thank you for clicking on my video. So as I'm sure you can see by the title, today's video is an almost spring haul. I'm very optimistic that it will be spring here soon in Vancouver, BC, but it's been kind of on and off. Some days are really warm and glorious and beautiful, and some days are raining and pouring and cold. So I have a lot of different things to show you that kind of suit that really in between weather. In this video, I'm gonna try everything on so you're able to see what things look like on the body as well as I will be linking everything down below in the info box in case you wanna shop some of the items. So first up, I hit up revolve.com because it is one of my favorite online shopping sites. It is so easy to use. The sizing tool is super simple. I very rarely have to send things back. So let's jump into that. So my first purchase on Revolve was actually the shirt that I'm wearing. It is from the brand Junk Food and I love it. I think that it is such a cute shirt. I love the no thank you on the breast side. It also has this gorgeous rose pattern on the back. But I'm in love with the color. It is a nice t-shirt fabric. It definitely had a little bit of pilling when I first got it. I'm not too sure if that's kind of just the aesthetic of it, having it be like a worn in style shirt. I have purchased quite a few of the junk food brand t-shirts before and they all wear really well so I think that this will be totally fine but I don't know. The next thing that I got was this hat from Brixton. You guys might have seen this in my Mexico videos but I really wanted to reiterate that I got this on Revolve because I love the Brixton brand of hats. I have a couple of hats from them, Revolve sells them, and they are all awesome. I'm always impressed when I receive them. They're made really well, and they're sturdy, and they feel good on your head. They're not like just plasticky or really, really crappy felt style hats. They're actually really nice craftsmanship. So they are worth the money, and I love them. I think that it is a super cute summer hat. My favorite thing about this particular one is that the sides didn't get droopy at all when it got hot. I don't know if you've noticed that with some beachy style hats, sometimes it gets like droopier and droopier throughout the day as it warms up, but this stayed really rigid and firm wherever, whenever. So that was really great. Next up is this shirt from a brand called By The Way. It is a elastic style tube top that is meant to be flowy. I really loved the arm ties on this. I thought that it was so cute. I've just really enjoyed this style of top. I think that it is just really easy to wear in the summer. I love showing my shoulders. And I thought that this was just a really lightweight kind of weave top. So I'm excited to wear this. I think it'll look super cute with some espadrilles and maybe even my Brixton hat. Next up is another lightweight flowy style shirt from Lacademy. And it is a blue and white pinstripe. It is super duper cute. It has, again, an elastic top that kind of sits on your shoulders, and this one has a tie down at the belly button area. I loved the fabric of this. It's just, again, really, really light and breezy and just feels nice on your skin. And the sleeves are a bit of a bell shape, so I'm really excited to wear this. I think that it's a really pretty top, and I love the Academy brand stuff. They have some really cute stuff. Something to satisfy my comfiness on a rainy, cold day. I picked up a pair of sweatpants from Tularosa. Tularosa? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I loved the detail on the side of the sweatpants. I thought that that was just so cute and different. Uh, it's a very nice, thick, heavy material, and the lacing up the side just looks really cute, brought down to a little elastic ankle. So these look like a really well-made, sturdy, comfy pair of sweatpants, and I'm really excited to snuggle into these on a rainy day. Next up is a dress that is from a brand that I haven't previously heard of, but now that I know about it, I'm going to be searching it on the site the next time I shop, and it's called Inda Body. And the dress is this gorgeous green rib knit style dress, and I'm in love. I don't know what it is about the kind of ribbing pattern, but it's super flattering. It just has that weight to it that sits really nicely on your body, and it kind of just skims your body really nicely. Uh, it is a midi length, and it has a slit up the side, and I love it. I think that it is such a cute casual dress. And I got this in size number one, if you are curious. I was looking for a pair of shorts that were black, not distressed, and a little bit longer. I don't know what it is about getting older, but I've been seemingly getting increasingly longer hemlines the older I get. Nothing against having short things, and I still occasionally like having a shorter thing, but I've been feeling a lot more comfortable with 
a little bit more coverage on my backside lately. So I got this pair of shorts from, how do you pronounce it? Adriano Goldschmied. <laughs> this is what they look like. They're like a leather look pant. They're not actually leather, they're like a coated denim. And they have frayed bottoms, pockets, and they're like a jet black, black, black color, which I loved. So the back pockets look like this, and I just love that they were kind of that waxy feeling without feeling cheap. They still feel like a good quality denim. And the inside feels like regular denim, so it doesn't feel like too weird and slippery on your legs. But these are gorgeous. I'm really excited to wear them, and I'm just glad that they're just a tiny little bit longer, so they kind of cover just a little bit more. But I'm looking forward to wearing these. Not looking forward to having to shave my legs to wear these, but you know, sacrifices. The next two items I was gifted from Revolve. I am on their PR list. And the first item being a pair of girlfriend denim. And I love them. <laughs> this is my second pair of girlfriend denim. Originally, I got a size 26 in a different style. And they're great, but they're more of like a boyfriend cut style. And they were a little bit looser on me. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll go with a size 25 in the Carolina style, which I believe this is what these are. Let me double check. Yes, these are the Carolina style. But holy shit, like their size 25 is it's pretty tight. <laughs> I like them a lot. And I would not exchange them for the 26 because I feel like they'd fit too large for the legs if I got a larger size. But these definitely have no stretch whatsoever. They are the type of jean that I probably will not wash very often because I feel like I have to kind of stretch out the denim as much as I can for them to be comfortable. But holy shit, do they look good. <laughs> oh my god, my butt looks great. I don't know what it is. I just really think that they're a very flattering jean. They don't have too, too much distressing, just kind of the right amount at the knees. But wow, they're really cute. I think that they're really worth the money. Even though they are a bit uncomfortable, they look so cute. The other item that I was gifted is a bodysuit from House of Harlow, which is Nicole Richie's brand. I love their stuff. I own multiple pieces from their line and it is always cute, it's always comfortable, and they're really great quality. This is another product that is a rib knit kind of style and it is a thong back, but I love this. I think it's super cute. I love the scoop in the front and the back slightly scoops down a little bit deeper, if you can see. I just really think that it's gonna be flattering and super cute. Next up, I have a few things from Princess Polly that I wanna share with you, and I'm pretty sure that they're still on the website. I love Princess Polly. I find it really easy to shop on there. They have a lot of different stuff to choose from that's really up my alley, kind of style-wise, and they also have great prices. Um, the first item is a pair of pants. These are the most gorgeous culotte style gingham checked pants and they're so flattering and they're so comfortable. I can't even, I feel like these are going to be my new favorite spring pants. I've been waiting for a kind of mid-length crop pant to come out that looked good on me. I don't know what it is. Some of those pants just flare really weirdly at the hips or some of them just don't really look flattering on everyone, but I feel like this style just would. They are so cute. The leg isn't too overwhelming and the print is adorable. You could wear it with anything. And they have pockets. Oh, it has pockets. The next thing I have to show you is a purse and it is the round straw style bag that you guys I'm sure have been seeing all over online. I don't believe in spending three or four hundred dollars for something like this. It is ridiculous. And so Princess Polly has a really affordable version. I think that it's super cute and it looks basically the exact same as the three or four hundred dollar bags. It opens up just like that. The only thing about this and about any type of like straw or natural product is that it likely will have a very interesting smell when you first get it. So sit it outside for it to air itself out. But other than that, I think it's absolutely adorable. I think that it's a really cute spring bag. And I'm glad that I found an affordable version because ain't nobody want to spend that much money on grass. The last thing I have to share from Princess Polly are these amazing overalls. I love them so much. They're from the brand Thrills. I've had a couple of t-shirt purchases from this brand as well and everything is really cute. But these just look so adorable on. I just, I cannot wait to wear these out and about when it's warm enough to just wear them with like a little bralette or something. I love the color. The bottoms I probably will cuff up to wear with some type of a chunky boot. And they're just adorable. I think they're super cute and I am so riding that overall train.
I'm into it. I want to make a note that I have previously worked with Princess Polly and they did give me a discount code, though I'm not sure if it still is activated. If it is, the discount code is down below in the info box if you want to save 20%. Fingers crossed it still works. It usually still works for a lot longer than what they tell me though, so shh, go use it. Next up from another Australian brand that I love, I got some items from Sabo Skirt. I love their stuff, although I will say it definitely is a hit or a miss with sizing and it's a bit of a bitch now that I live in Canada because it either works or it really doesn't work and then I have to ship it all the way back. So one of the items that kind of works but I'm not really sure how well it's going to work are these little romper overall things. I ordered this in an extra small and it still has a really weird way of fitting. They were much cuter on the model than they are on me. I feel like there's just a weird chunk of wide that just sits here. When, when I try them on, you'll see. So I'm going to keep them for the sake of I don't want to send them back because it's going to be expensive to send them back, but they don't fit as I would have wanted them to fit, but I feel like if I'm just kind of hanging out at the lake or I am with my family, I'm not like too concerned that they are a little bit wide in a weird spot. I mean, they're cute. Maybe I can like, like MacGyver them and sew them differently. I'm not sure. Stay tuned. We'll see how these go. An item that did fit perfectly though is this really cute little mini dress. I love the buttons. They are such a cute little detail and the back is adorable. It's like a double tie up. I ordered this in a size small and it looks adorable. I really like it. Sabo launched a swimwear line and it looked absolutely adorable on Instagram so I did want to try some of the pieces and I'm really glad that I did because it's just as cute in person. It's like a polka dot black and white lemon print with a tie up back. The only thing about this particular top is that the strings for the shoulders are like ridiculously small. So that will fit a little bit weird because of that, but it's so cute on the print that I don't really care that much. The bottoms are adorable. They have a little gingham side tie, and I just think that they are a really cute, flattering little cut. So I was really impressed with the Sabo Swim. I do, however, wish that the straps were adjustable, but c'est la vie. I also got one other top that the straps are adjustable, and it looks like this. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I don't really know how the sizing is gonna work, but I'm gonna make it work. I love that it was a tie top, and then the back is a little clasp. For reference, I bought everything in a size small, but oh my gosh, cutest print ever, worth it just for the print. I've been seeing a lot of posts about Nelly.com, and I was curious to see what their clothes were like, so I made an order, and I got a few pieces, and eh. I mean, it's, it's kind of like misguided. It's one of those things of sometimes things could be really cute and sometimes things could be like, I don't really care if I bought this or never bought this kind of cute. So the first item that I got actually did work out quite well. It is this little top that has a cross style front. Uh, the material is actually not bad on this one. It's like a heavier proper fabric and the sleeves are like an elastic bell sleeve. So I'm kind of curious to see how this goes on. I think that this will actually look kind of cute, but uh, this was probably one of the only pieces that I was actually like impressed with the quality of it. The next item I got were these pair of floral long pants. They look a lot nicer on camera than they do in person. It is kind of like a see-through material that when you stretch it, it goes white. Um, just kind of like cheap printing and then the waistband is a very large elastic and they are kind of like a palazzo style pant I really like the print again it's showing up on camera much nicer than it does in person It's kind of like a cheaper pixelated print once you actually like look closely at it But they're not bad, but again, it's one of those things of I wouldn't have been upset had I not ordered these They're not life-changing pants. I got another shirt and I love the color of this shirt I think it's gorgeous but the material is really thin and cheap. So I don't think this will last very long. I think a couple of washes it might be done, but the color is really, really pretty. I think that it is a really flattering color on multiple skin tones, and I hope that it lasts longer than it feels like it's gonna last, but you know, had to try it. The last item that I got from Nelly.com was actually from Misguided, and I wish that I had sized up because they just don't fit properly. I honestly don't even know how I sized up if they would fit properly because just the cut is really weird in between the crotch and how high they're supposed to go. I feel like 
These are really cute fabric. They are like shiny, shimmery palazzo pants and I was really excited to wear them. But if I wear them up on my hips where they're meant to kind of sit, it gives me a massive camel toe and it just does not look good. And then when I pull them further down on my hips, it's just not very flattering to have them sit that low. Um, so I'm a little bit sad with these. I feel like I'm gonna have to wear them in a completely different way than I imagined them to be when I purchased them. I think that I'll still be able to wear them with like a band tee and like have it be a looser, baggier fit, but I was planning on wearing these with like a crop top and like having like a little bit of midriff showing and then having it be like a higher waisted pant and it just, they don't work out like that. So I'm a little bit sad because they are a wicked kind of color and shine, but you know, you win some, you lose some. The next place I got some stuff from was from Windsor Store. First item is this really cute bodysuit that is orange, and I love the tie-ups. I think that it's gonna look super cute. It's like a very festival-y style. The back is kind of like a little thong. So this is really adorable. I like it a lot. I'm glad that I got it. Next up is a little crop top, and kind of in the same color family. It looks like this. It's like a burnt orangey brown kind of style. I love the little tie in the front. It's, I don't know, I've been really liking tie-up shirts. I think that it's just a really cute little flouncy thing to wear. And again, I love that it has the adjustable straps in case you want to adjust where it sits. I'm hoping that this will kind of sit in a flattering spot on my torso. Sometimes I have that happen where it just kind of flares out of the wrong spot. But I have high hopes for this. I'm really excited to try it on. It's a really cute little top. I got a couple of body suits. The first one is this dusty pink color. I love that it is very deep V with the kind of string holding the back together. The arms are a long sleeve and the bottom of the bodysuit is a little thong. I think that this can look super flattering. I own a couple that are really similar and I was hoping that this would kind of fit the same. I feel like this kind of gapes open a lot though so I might have to wear a bralette underneath or I might have to just like pin or sew the top shut a little bit higher up so that it's not like, hi, I'm here. The last item that I got is also a bodysuit and it is a black cross front one. I don't know if you can really see the cross front very easily, but it kind of does like a little crisscross across the boobs. Uh, tight black ribbed material and a thong back with little snap closure on the bottom. Looks cute. I like it. I'm excited to wear it. I got a couple of dresses from lulus.com and I love lulus. I shop on there quite often. They have a huge selection of really cute clothing and I kept getting ads for this particular dress and I was like, I just, I gotta do it. So I did. It is this really pretty mustard yellow kind of shift dress with a simple tie up back. It is super plain, really, really cute, and I think this would look adorable with like a little denim jacket and some sneakers, and I just really like it. I'm excited to wear it. I think that yellow is probably not my best color, but I don't give two shits because I love the color yellow, so I will continue wearing yellow things. So this is going to be a much worn dress this spring summer. The next dress that I got was a little skater style dress and it looks like this. It is a cherry print. I don't think I've ever had cherry printed anything, but I've seen a lot of things online with cherry print from a lot of the brands that I follow. So I was like, hmm, I want to dip my toe into this trend, but I don't want to spend a lot of money doing so. So hence this little dress. So it is a short mini skater dress style. I think that this style is super flattering on most people and I'm excited to give it a spin. I kind of wish that I had pockets. I don't think that it has pockets though. Next up I did some shopping on Zara and I got the funniest print set. I don't even know where I'm gonna wear this. It is so obnoxious. I put it on and Glenn was just like, wow, where are you gonna wear that? This is what it looks like. I love how obnoxious it is. It is absolutely hilarious. Uh, the short shorts are really cute. I probably will end up wearing these more often than I will wearing both of them together. But I think this would look really cute with a little white shirt. But again, together, it is just obnoxious and great. And I'm really looking forward to being the loudest dressed person in the room wearing this. I also invested in my first pair of Zara denim. They look like this. 
They are a very minimally distressed, clean, kind of dark jean. I loved that they were slightly cropped and they just remind me of just really crisp and clean outfits. I don't know, I'm excited to wear these. I think that they're really, really cute. They're high-waisted and they're quite stretchy, so that's a good thing because they are kind of small. Also at Zara, I picked up some shoes and I am living for these. I just, I need to go to a pool party. I don't know where else I'm gonna wear these. They're wonderful. Again, they're yellow. I just really like yellow. Uh, and I think that they are just wonderful. I just want to have these and my big hat and just be at a pool with these. So I'm excited to wear these. I think they're great. And then I bought a pair of adult shoes because I've been finding that a lot of the time where I just want to look presentable, I don't necessarily want to wear like towering heels. So I've bought a pair of adult heels that are responsible, respectable heel height. And I really like the color block cap toe. I thought that that was really cute. So these are very ladylike shoes and I look forward to wearing them to ladylike events such as baby showers or wedding showers or other things in that category. <laughs> Things that are the exact opposite of ladylike, which make my heart even happier, are the fact that slip-on vans are back in style. I've been waiting for these my whole life. I had a pair of these in grade eight. They got so smelly that my mother made me leave them outside at all times. I look forward to stinking up this pair. I'm so excited. I bought the thicker sole ones. I think that they're just great. I don't know how else to explain how pleased I am that these are now a thing again. I just, it's good times, it's a good life. You can buy these most shoe stores now. They used to be kind of limited to skate shops, but I'm pretty sure even sites like Revolve carry this style now, which is awesome. Another pair of obnoxious shoes that I purchased were from Dolls Kill, and they are another pair of Doc Martens combat boots. You guys know me and my love of boots. I will forever be a boot wearer. These are huge. These are heavy. They're a little bit uncomfortable to work their way in. It's my first pair of Doc Martens that actually were uncomfortable. I find the Doc Martin brand boots to be really good for my slim fitting feet, but these are definitely going to take some getting used to and working in, but oh my gosh, they're wonderful. I really enjoy them and I am a boot person, tried and true. I got a pair of Lispec sunglasses online. Uh, they were sold out on Revolve and everywhere else where I looked, so I went to the Lispec website and I picked them up there and they are those trendy smaller sunglasses, but I wanted some that were like a V shape at the bottom. Um, the straight across ones looked really, really dumb on me, like matrix style weird glasses. I'm still not really sold on this being a style. I don't like that I can't really see much out of them. They're just such small little frames. But I mean, while they're a thing, I thought I would join in on the party and pick myself up a pair. So these apparently are the Adam Seelman Lespec collaboration and the box for them is obnoxiously large. So I don't think that I'll be keeping them in this particular glasses case, although it looks really nice for display. Next up, I purchased a few things that I actually got when I was in public, real life shopping. I know, it's a shocker. I was with my friend Katie and her sister who were looking for a particular piece and whenever I go into shops, I compulsively buy things. So I ended up walking out with some stuff. So the first place that we went was American Eagle and I couldn't not get this shirt. It was way too cute. Look at it. It's like a little gingham style top and it is that kind of scrunchy material that we all had back in the 90s but it was just really flattering and super cute on. So I couldn't walk away without this. I thought that it was just way too cute. Next up, we went to H&M and I got this really cute shirt. The shirt is a floral print kind of off the shoulder style top. It looks really, really cute. I wanna wear this with like my hair and like a snatched high pony. The straps are really strange. They're in the worst spot possible. I think I might just cut them off, but like they were just in a really unflattering, strange spot where they didn't even sit straight. So I'm gonna buck these off and they'll be totally fine, but cute top, I like it. I thought it was very kind of springy, so I'm excited to wear this. And then the next item I got were a pair of really cute pants. I love them. They are a plaid style pant, kind of like grandpa pants and they have pockets and they're really stretchy and they're just super cute. Very cropped and I just really like the look of this style of pants. So these are really cute. They're really actually quite well made and I'm glad that I purchased these. 
The last item I got from H&M is a band shirt and I am so in love that they have the rights to print stuff like this because the actual like old vintage version of these is like $250 and I don't want to pay that for an old vintage shirt but I do like the feeling of older vintage shirts and so I got this awesome Metallica shirt in this beautiful beige. It is a little bit thinner than I'd like it to be, but I love the print so much and I love Metallica. I used to listen to Enter Sandman every morning during AM Fitness. It was my jam, but I think it's a really cute shirt. I love band shirts. I'm a t-shirt person, so this was a great grab. So the last thing that I have to show you guys is something that I'm immensely proud of. I have waited my entire adult life to purchase this item. It is something that is a forever item for me and it just brings my heart a lot of joy because I've dreamt about owning this for a very long time. I finally purchased my first Chanel bag. It is the 10 inch classic flap in a caviar quilted leather. I'm honestly over the moon about this bag. I'm just so, so grateful and excited that I found the right one. It is silver hardware. It is a double flap. It is beautiful. I purchased it from a consignment store in Toronto called Hope Classics. It is my baby. I am so proud that I finally own one and I feel like this will be in my family forever now that I have one. <laughs> I've wanted one my entire life and I'm just really grateful. I know Lola, you get excited talking about the purse too. Oh, the vegans are gonna be so mad, I'm sorry. I'm loving both of you so much. Goodness, okay, so my dog would like my attention, apparently. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoy. Please don't forget to give it a like. That means we'll see you soon. Bye.